Time now for Eyewitness News Call 12 for Action. From housekeepers to bellhops, tipping while on vacation can raise a lot of tricky questions and just in time for summer travel. Problem solver Susan Hogan has the answers. When you're about to go on vacation, you budget for all of the travel, of course, the taxis, the boats, whatever you might be doing, and the excursions. But what you can't leave out, which could cost hundreds, are the tips. Just like airfare, meals, and taxis, tips for good service should be part of your vacation budget. To avoid over-tipping or not tipping at all, you should always have small bills on hand. Keep a nice fat wallet with all those singles and fives. And um, in fact, you might want to also keep um, pack in some envelopes so you'll have something uh, to put the money in for the housekeeper. Housekeeping staff typically gets two to five dollars each day. Airport skycaps and hotel bellhops one or two dollars per bag. Valet parkers two to five dollars each time you pick up your car. Airport shuttle drivers one or two dollars extra for baggage handling. And taxi drivers ten to twenty percent of the total fare. One scenario that confuses vacationers is tipping for a room service meal. If your hotel bill says a service charge is applied, it means the tip is included. But a room service charge delivery fee or delivery charge means you still need to tip. At some hotels and resorts, tips may also be included, especially for groups or tours. So remember to read the fine print or simply ask at the service desk. And if you're traveling overseas, it's definitely important to brush up on your tipping protocol on that particular country because a lot of them definitely have their own way about going about it. If if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.